So, you're ready to install a union fitting on your latest plumbing job. Today, we're going to cover soldering or sweating the pipe fittings. Unions create a removable joint with pipes, equipment, or appliances such as water heaters. You'll need the following items. Union fittings, torch, solder, emery cloth or sandpaper, wire brush, silicone spray, paraffin wax or beeswax, wheel cutter, deburring tool, water-soluble or water-flushable flux compliant to ASTM B813, tape measure, adjustable wrench, safety equipment, gloves, glasses, fire extinguisher, heat shield. Follow all manufacturer's safety recommendations and instructions. Follow all local code requirements. A union fitting has a ground joint sealing surface. The side with the formed sealing nose is called a tailpiece. The side with the external threads and concave sealing area is called the end piece. Before we begin installation, the fitting will have to be separated. Firmly hold the fitting, then unscrew and remove the central nut. After measuring the necessary length of pipe to fit properly with the union, cut the tube with a wheel cutter. You will notice some burrs on the end of the pipe. Using a deburring tool, remove all burrs from the pipe. To ensure proper seating, the ends of the pipe should be sanded with an emery cloth or sandpaper to remove surface oxidation. Do not remove too much material during this step. Repeat this process with the solder cups of the union. With a clean, deburred and sanded pipe, apply flux to both the fitting cups and the pipe ends. Apply with the brush for best results. Once the flux is applied, slide the nut onto the tailpiece end of the union joint. Make sure to do this before soldering. Slide the ends of each piece of pipe into the ends of the union fitting. Now we're ready to solder. Even if you've soldered pipe before, it's important to remember to be safe. Have your safety gear, gloves, goggles, extinguisher, and heat shield ready. Now that we have a clean pipe and fitting, start heating the tube and joint. Make sure the flux activates and provides full coverage of the pipe fitting connection. Just as important to safety, Make sure you follow all local codes for soldering installation based on your specific system. Make sure no excess solder, droplets, reaches the ground joint surface. It is best practice to wipe excess solder hanging from a joint in general. But in the case of a union, it is imperative. Failing to remove excess solder hanging from a joint while it is still liquid can result in an impediment to the operation of the union nut. In the event that a drip of solder cools before it can be removed, Carefully reheat the solder just enough to allow it to go liquid again, and then promptly wipe the excess away. Alternatively, the solder can be filed down to allow smooth operation of the union nut. Now that the solder is activated and you have good coverage, it's time to cool down the pipe and fitting. The best way to do that is to let it cool naturally for about 10 to 20 minutes, or until cool to the touch. Now it's time to prepare the ground joint area. Make sure it is free of nicks and scratches. Spray the ground joint area with a silicone spray or apply paraffin wax to ensure proper seating. Bring the pipes together and tighten the nut. Make sure alignment of the line does not put lateral stress on the ground joint seal. Complete the tightening with an adjustable wrench. Avoid using a pipe wrench if possible as it can crush the nut out of round. Almost done. Now it's time to check for any leaks. If you do have a leak, attempt to tighten further. If there are still leaks, depressurize the system, disassemble the union, and reapply more paraffin wax or respray with silicone spray. Now you have successfully soldered a union fitting. 